Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Redstone Tutorials and today we're going to be covering the day-night sensor and uh, I'm just going to tell you right now uh, th these aren't like my original designs like I didn't make up this design or anything like that um, I mean I don't actually know whose design this is to be honest I it's on the Minecon server it's the one this is the exact same design that we're using at spawn I just kind of copied it because uh, you know that's kind of where I learned the uh, the uh, whole thing and how I fully understand how day night sensors work now is what I'm gonna say right now like I, I can build one of these freehand pretty easily in fact they're not very complicated at all and that's what I'm probably gonna do for you right here so uh, as you can see this thing works I, I believe I don't know why this one's on still I, I'm, I'm I gotta make sure it's working right now because this one doesn't look like it's actually working uh, I'm pretty sure one of these is uh like uh, one of the uh, bud switches I have here like this thing works off of four bud switches in uh, each of the corners here and I'm pretty sure one of them is different from all the rest <laughs> and it looks like this one is it so let's go ahead and just fix that yeah it looks like it's working I guess um <laughs> this uh, this is the same design that we have on the minecon server and basically all it is is four different but uh, not bud switch actually these are bud flops four bud flops in each of the corners here so that's what these pistons are for and uh... get out of here glowstone <laughs> so that's the four bud flops in each corner and then there is uh... four pistons one two here and then two right over here that uh... that block the water off so uh... the grass down there can regrow uh... when day comes right? Um, so that's basically what this is. All right. So now think about it. Say if it's a, uh, say if it's nighttime, and one of these, uh, blah, blah, one of these uh, bud flops gets uh, updated. So let's kind of see if we can get under here. That's under enough. Which one is all right? Say this one right here gets updated. Boom. What happens? It sends wire to here. Which uh, why is that head? Hmm. Oh yeah, it sends wire to here, which will then reset the bud flop when it gets updated again. And it also sends power to right here, which powers both of these pistons. So what would be going on right now, if that piston got updated, it would be this grass block right here that has died. And when, when it's nighttime, basically what happens is grass dies when it's under, like, water. Which, which, there's water right here, right? And grass dies when it's underwater. So... When it's nighttime, the grass would die, which updates that bud flop like I just did a second ago. And all these these four pistons come out, which will allow the, so there's water so there's no longer water on top of the grass. There's there's air there. And uh now that allows the um the sun when it comes back in the day for that uh for that grass block right there to regrow. And uh so let's pretend now it became day and it regrows. So we update the piston again, and it goes back to normal. And then when it becomes night again, the process restarts. And uh, <clears throat> basically, what you see right here is this is pretty much just like a two thing. Like, it, it, there's only four grass blocks that are being detected. What the hell just happened? why that update? What? 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 I, don't, I don't even understand that one. I don't even know why that updated. Which one did? This one did. Why did this one update? Oh, I know why. This right here. This this grass died. Let's let's make it something that's that doesn't grow or die. Let's make it. Let's make it something. I don't know what to make it. People, people, tell me. Make it a make it a jack o' lantern. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and go on to. Uh, Do what, do what you want. Do what I want you to. All right. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and go on to something that you can see a little bit more clearly. Because maybe you haven't exactly... Maybe you're like, oh, what the hell is going on? I cannot copy this. This is so, like, what the fuck, right? So we're going to go ahead and take this down piece by piece. And uh, I'll be right back. All right? Just be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. And I'm pretty sure I got my inventory uh, pretty set up here. Or, you know, hot bar. Pretty set up here. Uh, so, uh... <clears throat> we're gonna make a uh, a day-night sensor, but we're gonna make it slowly. We're gonna make it piece by piece, so you can 
slowly understand exactly how this works. All right, so first thing that we're going to lay down is the the four grass blocks that are going to be used as a uh, as the detection, like for when it becomes day or night. So let's get out. Let's actually get out of the way of that, so it's not in our way here. Break that. All right, so we're here. <clears throat> so here's our four glass blocks. I'm gonna put two here. And then we want to put another two somewhere else. <laughs> actually, let's just start off with right here, because I don't actually know how far we have to space that from. So let's go ahead and start off right here. So off these two grass blocks, we want to put oops, bleh, we want two pistons right here and here. And in front of those pistons, we're going to need some blocks. So let's go ahead and put blue. And this is going to be the blue side, is what we're going to call this. So everything on this side is going to be used with, it's going to have blue wool, all right? <laughs> that's that's all. I, that's the easiest way I can explain it. So down here and down here, we want to have a torch. Whoa, whoa! How, how did that one happen? How? What, oh, I broke the wrong block. That's why. All right. So we want to have a torch and a piece of redstone. And same thing over here. And then off of this, we want to go ahead and wire this to right here, which is going to go this way. And this is a bud flop. If you remember back to the, uh, la, la, la. if you remember back to the redstone tutorial of bud switches and bud flops, a bud flop gets powered in the back, right? And that just keeps the redstone away from the piston, so it doesn't like update when the redstone updates. Also, so it doesn't reset itself. It has to be reset by another update. Is what I'm trying to say. For anyone that's really confused, don't worry about it. You don't need to know. All right, so uh, this goes back. Um, we're gonna actually do the same thing to this side also. Oh, yeah, I have the setup. All right, <laughs> I thought I didn't have the piece of wire right there. All right, so there's one thing I'm forgetting here, and that's that we need a repeater in here. Cause if you know things about uh, bud switches and bud flops and stuff like that, is that we need a repeater. Cause if we do not have a repeater, it's just gonna turn into a clock, and that's just that's just bad things, bad news bears. All right, so we need um. Redstone. <laughs> Go up to here. Um, all right. Actually, no. Let's stop right there and let's go ahead and do something else now. All right, guys. I'm back and I uh, got a little bit more set up here. I got another chamber exactly the same as this right here, except this is going to be called the red chamber, and everything that has to do with this is going to be red. <laughs> that simple. Just to, you know, help you guys understand exactly what's going on here. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so first thing I just want to say, you do not have to make this completely out of grass, like I did over here. Um, you know, you might think, oh, but we're gonna, you know, maybe that's, you know, something you have to do. You don't have to do that. Just just make sure that everyone is clear of, uh, you know, just everyone that know everyone, blah, blah, everyone knows. So what we need here, just get some blocks down to here. We're going to need pistons right here on each side. So, knock those two out. Hmm. Is that popcorn I smell? Someone's making popcorn, I think, in my house. I don't know. I think it smells like popcorn. <laughs> I'm so off topic. All right. <clears throat> so, what we now need to do is we need to go ahead. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Tricky. Funny, funny thing here is, let's go ahead and get out another type of block. I don't know if we're going to need grass again. Hopefully, we will not because that will piss me off. It's going to get out white wool. Everything that's white wool has to do with both. <laughs> it's patriotic day. It wasn't. It was um 4th of July just a couple seconds ago. Uh, a couple seconds ago. A couple days ago. It's Friday right now, just while I'm recording this in case in case anyone cares. Um so let's go ahead and get up to here. Um that looks mighty fine. Wait, nope, that needs to be blue. And then this needs to be white white um no yes no yes let's fly over here <laughs> sometimes you know i said i could flee though this right off the top of my head one two three four yeah sometimes i can't one two three four mm -mm. yeah that's right this is right i was doing it right <laughs> you know you just gotta make sure sometimes sometimes you just feel like you're not doing it right but you are am i doing this right though like seriously one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't look right. It looks right, but it doesn't look right. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's do this. This is... 
Oh, man. Such a clusterfuck. All right. <clears throat> so we need to have a repeater right up there. Oh, jeez. Right here is where we need to... Oh, get out of here. There's a fly. Whoa, it's big. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's what she said, isn't it? All right, so there we go. We got that all working correct, correctly now. Yeah, that little... Get out of here, beetle. I killed it. Whoa. Damn, I'm... I'm pretty... I don't know if you guys heard that. It, like... It banged against, like, a hundred different things right there. Yeah, but I hit it, and it, it went flying across my room, and it died pretty fast. Alright. <clears throat> so, in case you guys are wondering what, what I have set up right now, let's go ahead and... Ooh, hello. Let's go ahead and look up it. Look at it right now. One side is completely set up correctly, I hope. Um... All we have set up right now is two bud switches, two bud flops actually, and uh, so we have the redstone from the bud flop down here, goes up, and goes to here. So when this piston gets updated, this block goes over here, cuts off the wire, and shuts off this. So it needs to be updated once more, and then the piston will then, you know, retract. Like right now, these pistons, you know, it's being powered, but it's not being powered. All right, that's how a bud flop works. Go back and watch Bud Switches if you... Bud Switches and Bud Flops Redstone Tutorial that I have made to understand the Bud Flop more because I don't feel like explaining them right now. Okay, so there we go. We got that. Got that. Got that. Oh, jeez. This color coding thing. I mean, it's not, not my favorite thing to do. So right now we're just setting up the exact same thing that we had over there, over here because that is what's supposed to happen. And now we're only missing one component. If I have made this correctly so far, we are only missing one component. And that is the water. And then this thing will be done, completely done. And you can hook this up to anything you want, like light switches in some kind of, where the hell is water? Light switches in some kind of, oh my god, I threw it away. Uh, all right, <laughs> light switches in some kind of uh, town or something like that, that will turn on during the night and shut off during the day so there we go we got it all got it all set up it it looks correct let's go ahead and uh, look at it for a little bit it looks pretty doesn't it look at all that redstone ah uh, all right so <clears throat> that should be fine let's go ahead and add some more grass to it just so in case there's some kind of random malfunction where both of these actually like die at the same time at night Let's go ahead, get a couple more guys in here, and a couple guys in here. And that should be nice and good. So, <clears throat> it's daytime right now, so we have this on the wrong setting. This is what it's supposed to look like at night. So to fix this, we're going to break this block, break this block, replace, replace, and we're going to go over to here, break this block, break this block, replace and replace. So during the day, these pistons should not be extended and it should look exactly like this. Every, all redstone should be off except obviously the redstone right under here. This torch and that piece of redstone. And uh, yeah, so there you go. There you have it. That is a bud switch, America style. America. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I love this. Um, alright, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, redstone tutorial on, uh, the, I almost said bud switches, but the day-night sensor. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you back to, uh, the server, and we're gonna be in the new world, and we're just gonna take a last look on, uh, the good old day-night sensor, and then I'll go ahead and I'll leave you, leave it be. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and meet you on, uh, on the spawn, on the, on the new, the new world on the server. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, this should be the last time that I say that this episode. Um, we're over here on uh, the new worlds on the server. Let's go ahead and just give you some proof. <laughs> Here's our uh, the spawn town, the beautiful spawn town, and down here is where the day-night sensor is. So this is the exact same thing that I built, same exact concept and idea. So what you want to do is... Uh, like to hook this but this day night sensor up to some lights like we have in this town we want to go ahead and add some wire coming out of right here so right under oh god I don't have any I don't have anything to break this with oh no 
Let's just break this block right here. Oh, hope you didn't hear that. I just like scratched my head. Just break this block. Entertaining video. So right under here is where that wire is. <clears throat> and this is where that goes back to reset the, the bud flop. You want to take it out. Take some wire. Oh my god, cannot cannot talk. Going to take some wire off of uh, right here. And it goes into whatever you want. So this wire right here that we have. So you have to, also you have to have this on every single one of these uh, pistons. Going to the same wire that will go to the same place. So this wire, ooh, geez, come on mouse, stop, stop being stupid. So this wire will go all the way around here, and it goes up to here, alright? <clears throat> and that, that gets connected by every, by all four of the bud, sw the bud flops. So if we go up to here, what this is leading to is pretty much just a huge sewer system that connects to all of these different, oh god, I gotta take a breathe there, <laughs> all of these different, uh, Little, little, little redstone lamps. Cannot say. Cannot talk. Lamps. Redstone. Lamps. Redstone. Yeah, they're redstone lamps, right? Redstone lights. Redstone lamps. I think they're redstone lamps. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're redstone lamps. I've used them enough, but, uh, you know, just can't say it. So, yeah, the redstone lamps, and so these will shut off during the day. It's daytime. They're off. And it will turn on during the night using the Daynet sensor that uh, I've just done a tutorial on for you guys. All right, so that is the end of the video. I hope you liked. If you if you did like, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like. Uh, favorite if I'm your favorite, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, please. I would be very, very, very appreciative of that. And, uh, you know, till next time, peace.